All right, so at this point, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard the news or seen the leaks, but just in case you haven't, then allow me to quickly fill you in on exactly what's going on. So basically, I think most people on Global were expecting that after the worldwide celebration ended, uh, which is going to be pretty soon, by the way, that the next major banner or next Dokkan Fest banner that we got would be for these guys, the Int Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta from the Resurrection F movie. And if you think about it, that would have made a lot of sense given the release schedule on JP. These guys were definitely the next logical release for Global. But then, a few hours ago, we got this very interesting tweet from iSeriously, who, as you guys might know, is one of the premier leakers for Dokkan, so anytime he tweets anything, people pay attention. And what he tweeted was this, right here. So for my Office fans out there, you would know that this is Michael Scott. So some people were like, yo, we're getting a Dokkan x The Office collab, which I think is an awesome idea, by the way. I mean, it's super random, it's super weird, but I mean, if Dokkan was gonna have a random collab with any sitcom out there, The Office would probably be my first choice. You know, like imagine getting an LR Michael Scott or a TUR Pam and Jim Dwight and so on and so forth. I would love that, but of course, unfortunately, that's not what he's referring to. That's not gonna be happening. So instead, other people were like, okay, so Michael's doing the finger guns, so maybe that's alluding to the next Dokkan Fest unit on JP being a finger gun Super Saiyan God Goku that maybe transforms into UI Goku or something like that, which would also be awesome, maybe not as awesome as an office collab, but it's been a while since we've had a new UI Goku. I mean, literally since the 6th anniversary, and the 7th anniversary is coming up, or rather the 8th anniversary is coming up for JP. So we're kind of due for a new UI Goku, so that'd be cool as well, but uh, apparently that's also not the case. And because there was so much confusion surrounding this leak, I guess, um, I seriously followed up with another message, which basically told us what he was trying to say. And he said, it's a gun or pistol that goes pan pan. I've done better, it's true. So <laughs> essentially he's saying that he's talking about pan and that pan is going to be the next Dokkan Fest unit on global instead of the uh, Int Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, which uh, would mean that, you know, the release schedule is getting kind of mixed up on Global because these guys came out on May 31st for JP, whereas Pan came out on July 29th. But of course, this is not something that's like super foreign to us. It's something that's happened a lot in the past uh, on Global. So I can't say I'm overly surprised. I was just expecting the Blue Boys. But Pan is cool too. Pan is cool too. I mean, she might not be the most hype character to a lot of people. She might not be the most highly anticipated character for a lot of people, but she is a very unique unit and she also is a very powerful unit. So I really got no complaints. Uh, I'm looking forward to Pan. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this though. Maybe you guys were expecting something else and now you're slightly disappointed. But uh, that's basically the leak that has been going around um, for the last couple of hours since that tweet from I Seriously. It does seem like GT Pan is going to be next on Global. And since the worldwide celebration ends in about a week, that means that she's probably going to be dropping in about a week or so. So uh, if you do plan to summon for her, then get your stones ready, I guess. And uh, that's basically all there is to say about the sleek guys as far as when we're going to be getting you know, the Blue Boys or uh, LR Golden Frieza and so on and so forth. Probably right after Pan. So I would expect the Blue Boys to come out, you know, end of October or beginning of November and then Golden Frieza a little bit after. And then also, of course, the LR uh, Vegeta and Trunks and also 
the LR uh, Zamasu to before the end of the year. So uh, yeah, that's the video guys. Let me know once again how you guys feel about it. And real quick before we go, in case you guys are curious about what Pan does, I'll go over her details. If you guys already know what she does, then feel free to uh, click off the video. Okay, so starting with her leader skill, it is Bond of Friendship or Dragon Ball Seekers category Q plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the GT Heroes category. And her regular super attack is Maiden Smash, which raises the attack and causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then she has three different unit super attacks or partner super attacks. One with GT Trunks, one with Giru, and also one with GT Goku. So the one with Trunks is called Union Shot, greatly raises attack and causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. And then the one with uh, Giru is Dangerous Combination, greatly raises attack, causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. And then the one with Goku is Katsu Bull, Tempura Bull, Oyako Bull, which is uh, greatly raises attack, causes immense damage with a great chance of stunning the enemy. So basically the best unit super attack is the one with GT Goku, but the other ones are pretty close, you know, and of course the animation is slightly different with each of these. And uh, that's, you know, part of what makes her such a unique unit because she is the only unit in the game that has, in theory, four different super attacks. And her passive is attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when attacking. Key plus 2 plus an additional attack plus 50% and reduces damage received by 50% before attacking as the first attacker in a turn. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% up to 100% with each attack performed, launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when your team has a GT Heroes category ally whose name includes Goku, Junior Excluded, Trunks, or Giru attacking in the same turn. And her active skill can be activated after performing after performing five or more attacks during battle with a GT Heroes category ally whose name includes Goku, Junior Excluded, attacking in the same turn, and it greatly raises attack temporarily causes ultimate damage within the turn activated, chance of performing a critical hit plus 59%. So essentially it's a uh, you know super attack active skill that also increases your crit chance by 59% that turn. And her links are on the family, Saiyan Lineage, Battlefield Diva, GT, The Innocence, Kamehameha, Fierce Battle, and categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Dragon Ball Seekers, Goku's Family, Youth, Kamehameha, Space Traveling Warriors, GT Heroes, Bond of Friendship, and Bond of Parent and child. So that is the GT pan for you. Like I said, she's awesome. She's a great unit. Um, maybe a little bit situational or maybe a little bit limited as far as having various conditions involving the GT characters, uh, Trunks, Goku, and Giru. But uh, I kind of think her uh, think of her as like the uh, Captain Ginyu, you know, who is also somewhat limi limited by Ginyu Force but still considered one of the best TURs in the game, right? So uh, she's great. I'm definitely intrigued, at least, by this unit, and I will summon for it, so keep an eye out for the summoning video once the banner drops. But uh, otherwise, there's not much more to say, guys. Uh, shout out to I Seriously for the leak for the uh, finger gun Michael Scott. And uh, once again, guys, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it. Are you disappointed? Are you excited? Or do you just not care either way that's the video guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out